We've now reached the midway mark for Chapter 2, and it's time to get gold for the Spines of America mission. The objectives are as follows. Loot everything from Carmody Dell, don't get spotted, and deliver the wagon to Emerald Ranch within 1 minute and 10 seconds. This isn't that tricky as it first seems, and I'm about to show you exactly how to do it. Firstly, as you can see, I'm playing this during a normal playthrough, making sure I save the game beforehand in case I mess up. However, doing this on a replay has no disadvantages for achieving the gold medal. We start off by meeting Hazaya at Emerald Ranch, who is setting up a business deal with Seamus, who asks you to steal a wagon from his cousin by marriage. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin by marriage. And yes, I love it. Once out of the cutscene, it's down to Arthur to lead the way. There isn't a timer to this first part, so it doesn't matter how long you take to get there but I usually head left around the ranch rather than following the game's waypoint. Really? Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. We'll skip ahead now until we get to Carmody Dell so we can focus on the main objectives. Once you arrive, follow the game's instructions to hide behind a rock with Hosea and wait for the next cutscene to kick in. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Okay. Hosea will explain that if you do it now, he will help to distract the ranch owners whilst Arthur sneaks in and takes the wagon, or he suggests to wait until night time when they are all asleep. The game will give you both options, and in order to get the gold, the best option is to steal the wagon during the night, so go ahead and choose that option. Let's wait. When the cutscene finishes and you're back in control of Arthur, it's time to get on with our first objective of looting everything in the house. As you approach the house, you can go straight in through the front door, but make sure you're crouching to reduce the noise. Directly left from when you enter the house is a chest. Loot the chest of all its contents, but make sure you close the lid afterwards. Closing it will ensure that you do not get spotted, which is your second objective. You must close every drawer, cabinet or wardrobe you loot from now on during this mission. There is a bottle of bourbon sitting on this table that you need to loot. And as you can see, it's a little tricky to get the button prompt up to collect it. If you're full on bourbon, go into your satchel, discard it or drink it so that you can pick this one up. On the windowsill here is a cigarette card, but I don't think it counts towards the looting because it doesn't add any value to your total. Before going to the other side of the room, I then quietly open the door of the back bedroom where there is someone sleeping in the bed. They are all very heavy sleepers in this house, so don't worry too much. Beside the bed is a chest you can loot. There's also a medicine cabinet and finally a chest of drawers. Remember that if you can't pick something up because your bag is full, discard what you're holding so you can collect the item. You must also remember to close every drawer and the door to the medicine cabinet. The easy way to close all the drawers here is to keep your button held down instead of doing them individually and Arthur will automatically close them all for you. You can also use Eagle Eye, which will highlight all possible loot locations within the room. You might see different items to pick up in these cupboards. The main thing is to double check you've picked up everything. Once you're done, the game will prompt you to find Hosea outside. But we aren't done looting yet, as there's plenty more in the house. Once you're done in the back bedroom, head back into the front room and now we're going to head towards the stairs. Before we get there, we pass through a small kitchen where you will find a carrot and an apple on the sideboard. Be sure to discard any in your bag to ensure you can pick them up. After that, do a 180 turn and loot the money out of the chimney. Next to the chimney, there is a small alcove with another bottle of bourbon. I usually can't pick this up, but just double check yourself to make sure it's not lootable. We can now start slowly heading up the stairs. Remember to stay crouched. Upstairs we will find Bob Crawford himself fast asleep. Go directly to the wardrobe on the left side of the bed. 
you need to loot everything from this wardrobe and the drawers below it. The easiest way is to keep hold of the square button or the X on the Xbox controller which will automatically open the door and loot the items in one go. It will not loot items you're full on so watch out for that and discard them so you can pick them up. Close every drawer and door by continuously holding down the triangle button or Y button on the Xbox controller. Once you are done with the wardrobe you can then move to the end of his bed where there is another chest to loot. Once looted, the value of total robbed should be around $240. However, this sum varies either lower or higher. So if it's not the same as mine, don't panic. The next thing I'm going to do is completely optional and does not affect your gold medal. However, it will be worth it if you're doing this in your normal playthrough because it's the chance of getting some extra cash. This extra cash is not part of the objective of looting everything in the house, so if you're on a replay, it's not worth doing. If you focus on Bob Crawford now and interact with him, you get the option to threaten him. Go ahead and do this and Arthur will demand to know where the hidden money is. This won't damage your second objective of being spotted. This is probably because Arthur beats him unconscious after finding out the money is under his bed. You will then get the option to loot an extra stash box worth $150. With that done, it's now time to exit the house the same way we came in and locate the wagon. As you can see, there's no need to crouch here, but move slowly down the stairs again. Once you're out the front door, you will find that Hosea has retrieved the wagon from the barn, so all you need to do is approach and get on it. However, this is the moment the last timed objective will kick in, so as soon as you're in control, drive the horses as fast as you can. You need to get the wagon back to Emerald Ranch within 1 minute and 10 seconds, so there is no time to lose. As I'm on a normal playthrough, I also make sure to whistle my horse to follow me. Because it's so dark, I've tried to tweak the video graphic settings to brighten it up a bit for you, so you can see the route I take more clearly. I don't deviate too much from the yellow way marker at the beginning. I just try to cut the corners as much as I can. This is because straying too far off the path, you might run into some issues where you damage the wagon too much. In a short while, when I get to the second set of crossroads I pass, I will deviate from the route. So this is the first crossroads, but I will continue to follow the yellow marker for just a little bit longer. As you can see, as I approach the second crossroads, I now start to deviate from the path. I know it's now safer and I shouldn't run into too much trouble, so I guide the wagon left towards the end marker. I'm not entirely sure where Rockstar ends the timer here, but it seems you need to reach the outskirts of Emerald Ranch and not the barn itself to meet the timed objective of 1 minute and 10 seconds. I will leave the timer running because as you can see, I've reached the barn at 1 minute and 15 seconds. Once you've reached the barn, there are no more objectives to meet, so you can let the rest of the mission play out with all your fingers crossed that you did everything right. Once out of the cutscene, you can either choose to go with Hosea or stay at the ranch, it makes no difference. So there you have it, hopefully first time lucky for you. A link to the playlist for my guides on gold medal missions are linked in the description, along with other helpful guides on all aspects of RDR2.